Guys, this right here is the all new and first ever 2024 GMC Canyon 84X AV edition. They basically took the 84X that came out in 2023 and really injected a lot more performance, off-road performance and capability into it. And this is my first hands-on look just for you. And I'm gonna show you everything I love about this truck and also a couple things that I really don't and so let's go over it from the very top let's walk around this way of course it starts this is available in only one way it's a crew cap with a shorter bed it's a five foot bed it's got four full doors so it's really a mid-sized truck but it's on 35s and that's what makes it really really special so let's take a look at the tires and then look at the suspension as well um, they call it 35, but the size here is 315, 70, R17. So it's a 17 inch wheel. It's, sorry, it's, this truck is really muddy because I just came back from a, <laughs> a really uh, cool experience trail run in this truck. So this wheel design is really reminiscent and really is related to the AV, what they've been doing with vehicles for up to 27 years. And then they wrap this large tire around it. The offset of this wheel is a little bit different. So if you look at it from the side, it's poking out a little bit and the tire is really wide, 315. So they had to redesign the flare, the wheel flare here. So you can see it's a little bit, there's another lip here. So it's a unique just for this truck. The Fenders and the bedside on this truck are already the same as all the other canyons, basically. This is a wide body truck. Then uh, it has an additional lift over any other 84X or any other canyon. So it sits about an inch and a half taller than a other 84X. It has 12.2 inches of ground clearance, which is really mind-boggling because just a couple of years ago you know 10 and a half inches or 11 inches of ground clearance was a really really great number for a factory pickup truck and now we're looking at 12.2 inches for this mid-size segment that's really really great of course it still has dssv multimatic spool valve shocks so let's take a look under here do you see that yeah, so even though the height of this truck is a little bit different, um, the shock technology is basically the same that they're using on 84X trucks and also Colorado ZR2 trucks. And I gotta say, yeah, I mean, you really have to test drive this truck to really get to know it and understand how these shocks work and how it behaves. Now take a look at the skid plate package. So it all starts here. I've talked about this before, boron steel. So what does that mean? It means it's hot stamped. So the metal goes into the press in a hot state and then it kind of cools. It's a special alloy um, and it's really cleverly designed just to offer a little bit better approach angle. This is just over 38 degrees, but also cooling. Look at this front skid plate. There is an opening right there for to get air to the either intercoolers or radiators because this is a turbocharged engine underneath. And then of course, part of AEV package is this bumper. So it's also a really tough steel bumper. And I was talking to CEO of AEV, American Expedition Vehicles, Dave Harrington. And he told me that this section can be replaceable. So you don't have to replace the entire bumper if you do damage, for example, this corner or the other corner where it kind of meets here and goes away around here so this section can be replaceable if it gets damaged so really impressive i think capability so everything on this truck has a function really really great approach angle behind here behind this license plate holder is a place for the winch so right here you, there, this one is not equipped with one but the mounting bracket is right there. So all you have to do is purchase the winch. Uh, you could purchase it from GMC Performance Catalog or maybe even have your own winch that's kind of fit, that can fit this space. 
and capability. Let me open the hood because, of course, we have to discuss a little bit about power. Really, there's only one power choice and it's a gasoline engine. It's a 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder. They call it Turbo Max. Uh, GMC has, and, G and Chevrolet has a new name for it. And 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. They call it the high output engine. It's available in other models of the Canyon and the Chevy Colorado. And uh, I wish it had a little bit more power just to differentiate itself from the other trucks because this is a very, very high performance, unique vehicle. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with this engine. It has a lot of power and torque. <laughs> it's really muddy. So these rock sliders are actually available on other canyons, like the AT4X has this rock slider. And here's the thing, and their engineering team has spoken about this. You don't want it to protrude too far down, or you don't want this section to be too wide, because what you want to do is to protect the body, the expensive components of the truck. Um, I mean, these rock sliders are also not super cheap. Uh, I believe they're about $900 if you wanted to purchase them separately. But you want an obstacle to just kind of slide off of it and you keep moving instead of you know having a large piece that may stop your progress and that's the same thing with the skid plates if you look a little bit further down like for example there's this transmission skid plate that goes into the transfer case also and then the fuel tank skid plate and then the rear differential skid plate down below so there's about five skid plates all boron steel and of course underbody camera is on this truck as well so you can see underneath the truck when you're driving front or back. So it offers a lot of use, but that's kind of the functionality of this truck. You want to take a hit maybe off-road and easily keep going and going and going because it does have dual lockers. Here's another thing I don't love about this truck and it's the spare tire location. I understand what they had to do. They they really wanted to have obviously a 35 inch tall tire, which is large. They wanted to bring it with, with the truck and underneath there's not quite enough space because it's a, kind of a short bed, five foot bed. So they found this solution where it's kind of behind the driver on the driver's side, but still it blocks a lot of the rearward view from the cab. I'll show you that in a second. And it takes some bed space as well. So. I don't love that, but if you're really serious about off-roading, for example, I mean, you could have a bed rack here, you can have other solutions, you can have a tent on a bed rack system, and you can move the tire around. I mean, it's up to you what you wanna do with this truck, but this is the way it comes, and it's really solidly mounted. Like, take a look. I mean, there's brackets right here that go into the floor of the bed and on the on this bulkhead here. So really solid mounting solution but not the best for viewing looking backwards and not the best for bed space so let's go inside i'll open the door for you and i'll jump in on the other side first of all what is apparent right away is the color scheme of the interior so it's red, there's a red accents, there's white accents, and here's, it kind of is going through its animation sequence. Um, there's of course two digital screens, one in the center and one in the, for my gauge cluster. I can power this up. The truck will come to life. Let me change it a bit. I can view different, for example, I can view a map down here and while the infotainment system still does its own thing and whoa sorry about that i have um like i said rear locker or both front and rear lockers so i do have this capability um zr2s and 84x's also have this but this is what makes this truck 
I think, ultimately capable. So I love that stuff. Um, here's the view out the back. I don't know if you could see. Uh, sorry. But the view out the back is kind of inhibited by that tire. So that's what I was talking about. Other than that, the seating position is really good. You have heated seats, ventilated seats. You got wireless charger down here. You have these white panels. Yes, I kind of like the aesthetics of this, but it could get dirty. Like my jeans are dirty right now and I'm touching this portion and this portion. But I kind of like that they infused different materials into the same interior. This truck is capable of towing up to 6,000 pounds. So it's not the 7,700 pounds as some other models. Obviously the suspension and the cooling required to tow really heavy trailers is a little different here. Also the suspension is different. So 6,000 pounds is the towing capacity. But the other thing that I'm not in love with is the payload capacity. When we go outside, I'll, I'll show that to you. But in general, I think the interior is well done. There's a heads up display in front of me. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, it's kind of blinking right there. It's because of the camera refresh rate. Uh, but in a mid-sized truck, I think it's really cool to have all the features, including heads up display. This one also comes with the, the sunroof. All right, so let me show you the payload. Let's go outside and we could close this video down. Here you go, 974 pounds of total payload. And this truck's gross vehicle weight is 63.50, right there. So yeah, this pickup is chunky, but here's the thing. That number may seem low. It is a bit low, but consider all the equipment this truck has. Large tires, they're pretty heavy. Lots of skid plates, steel, bumpers front and rear we haven't i haven't really showed you the rear bumper but it's also right there of course the spare tire carrier all the luxury features we talked about including ventilated and heated seats here's the rear bumper with recovery points and everything is integrated including uh, parking sensors of course your four pin and seven pin connectors your hitch and all the angles are better than an 84x because you have more ground clearance um, so consider that like if you had a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon that was built up, you know, on bigger tires and more protection, or if you had maybe a Toyota TRD Pro that's been built up, Tacoma TRD Pro that's been built up with different skid plates and bigger tires and protection, those vehicles will also have quite a bit lower payload, uh, ratings. So. You just have to compare apples to apples. That's very important. So I cannot wait to compare it against other vehicles. Yes, I can show you a little bit later on oldtfl.com how this compares to a standard 84X, but I really want to get this truck to Colorado, to our home base, and actually compare it against other top of the line trucks in its segment. So let me know what you think in the comments below. By the way, you're probably wondering how much does all of this cost? We don't have that number yet because different aspects have to do with this. The factory that's building GMC Canyons and Chevy Colorados currently is on strike. Um, it's closed. It's not operating. They say these trucks will be built or will begin production at the very end of this year. So still within a month or two. That's the latest, as accurate of an estimate as anybody can give. So pricing is not available yet. A standard 84X Canyon starts at $55,000. And then, of course, this AV package can be anywhere, according to my estimates, between seven and $10,000. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. And check out altfl.com for everything automotive in one place.